Excellent. Well, at this time, can everybody stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance. Just to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have a roll call this evening? Okay, Chair Wrench. Present. Vice Chair Karen Murphy. Present. Finance. Commissioner Alder Yenneman. Here. Commissioner Remington. Here. Commissioner Owens, excuse me, Tony, heard you say you're here. Yeah. Commissioner Kristen Stanley. Here. And non voting member ex officio Michelle Lente. Here. And Kevin Schuller. Here. That's City Engineer Glenn Morrow. Here. And Dale Borcher. Here. Fantastic. At this time, uh, I'd like to open it up for citizen comments. Uh, I'd like to open it up for citizen comments. Seeing there are no citizens, I would expect no citizen comments. So we will close that and move on. Uh, item number three, the approval of the minutes from the meeting on December 12th. I'll move to approve. I'll do it. Excellent. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? The ayes have it. I'll move on to uh, item four. Letter A, update on parks maintenance. We did some cleanup earlier this month, still um, leaves and stuff like that, and got some brush on the trail. Um, the ice rink was put up and we had a little use, so uh, I think three days it was open, but uh, now the weather's kind of um, not frozen anymore. So, uh, but uh, now the weather's kind of um, not frozen anymore. So, uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, had a chance to uh, check out Greenfield's uh, ice rink and uh, Waterford's ice rink, and those two are really nice, and I guess that's. Uh, and uh, if uh, um, Michael was trying to you know, bring them up to the level of their, their ice cream. So that's about it. Do a lot of people come? Uh, I drove past a couple times. There was probably five, six people. There was probably five, six people one time. And um, uh, well, I think someone with a hockey stick, so I, I, I guess we'll have to play that by ear if we want to allow hockey on the ice rink or not. Um, uh, Waterford allows it, um, Greenfield does not. So, if you ever get a chance to drive down Layton at Conco Park there in Greenfield, it's right, out, it's right off the road, so uh, stop in there and take the stairs. The hockey is brought up here because we don't have uh, kick, kick leg centers. Mm -hmm. So a hockey puck stick tape goes up against the wall and you're going to puncture on your finger, puncture on your finger, crack the plastic ball. So something we're learning there. Absolutely. And hockey. Greenfield really was, uh, when we talked to Greenfield, they were really against. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever yeah. Green Shack right next to the ice rink that watches them, um, got a little heater in it, um, they <laughs> watch the ice, and another one is uh, in the in concession area. They have a little warming house. Um, they um, put up temporary um, walls around this pavilion and turning it into a warming house. And um, I guess you have, to, you, know, you have to have someone there all the time. Um, and they, they will. We have a Facebook page where they let you know if it's closed um, around 11 o'clock in the morning. It's like not a day. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on. There's a 
a lot of things going on that you know you gotta think about. The one thing that we really learned real quick is um, it wasn't a great um, location to put it where we put it because uh, there was still leaves on the trees. Any leaves on the ice, um, basically. In any dark colored object with a leaf on the ice, the, the sun would be much sun. It's in and it melts all the ice right around the leaf. So if you get leaves in the ice, it's a big problem because um, it just melts all around the leaves. Um, so, oh yep, kind of a bad place to put it. So for that reason, bad place to put it. So for that reason, and when we do the eclipse, is that an? I wouldn't think. I mean, it's just basically a styrofoam. Well, if you say, you say necessary for hockey, that it's like even the skates break it, I think. Yeah, next year for sure we're going to put it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so poles of skates would hit the uh, minor yeah. tool even if we did well, hockey. Well, I can see that happening a lot. We are locking up. Mm -hmm. uh, right. You know, as it frozen, and you can imagine you're about to really make a mess of things. They were not access. Maybe in the future, we'll just look at courts. Just a comment of something who ice skates is that skates are like all the way that the way that people cut into the ice are icy up to being cold again. Maybe you should decide we need a second one. Maybe, maybe this one might be the rotating one, and maybe we could use this cord for a much longer one. Well, it's going to hit. How big is it? Five people is like a full house for that <laughs> ring. <laughs> for that <laughs> ring. <laughs> It's a, decent, it's a decent size for two-on-two -two hockey. I, I, I used to play hockey, so I, I mean, it's a little tight, sure, but you can, you can mess around and have a lot of fun with two-on-two -two hockey. Right. Well, I would go. Hopefully you get that chance. <laughs> we'll move on to uh, letter B. It's 2022 and 2023 parks budget. Commission requests for information on personnel additions. Capital outlay fund needs, equipment revolving fund needs, street improvement fund needs, major capital expenditures made with borrowed funds. Um, so I don't have an update at this time. As some of you may be aware, the finance director is leaving us, um, and so I had requested that we review the practice of quarterly updates um, and haven't been able to get that information. So I'm going to see if I can figure out who to get it from for your next meeting, uh, but I don't have it. See if I can figure out who to get it from for your next meeting. Uh, but I don't have it today. Uh, but I do think now is a good time to start having a general conversation about what things you want to prioritize for the budget next year so that we get ahead of the, the game. You know, it's only a few meetings away, realistically. Um, we propose, we'll be revisiting the proposal regarding um, the All Abilities basketball court that um, that requester had more information to share and you guys could have a little more information to discuss whether it's something you want to consider. Um, and then there's also the fitness facility um, and a couple of other questions that I'll be So for now, this is just, if there's anything you want to put forward, please share it with me and share. Um, but I don't have an update for this one, so. Yeah, what would be your greatest? The parks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Personnel and some equipment, eh? Well, I guess we'll move on to letter C. We'll move on to letter C. Park amenities donation policy, and parks marketing materials, including maps, pamphlets, etc. Um, so Commissioner Malaki shared with me an updated draft of the map, um, and I think the intention is to put it uh, not in the next newsletter, but in the 
put it uh, not in the next newsletter, but in the second quarter newsletter. Um, so we'll have some time to do more edits, um, and then we'll have back on it as well. Um, okay. But we're on track to do that. Is that summer? Yeah, there that would be June. It would be issued in June when the deadline for it is end of April. <laughs> um, whatever happened to that donation policy? I still haven't had a chance to advance it, so I have to put it forward to the clerk's office for an explanation of the legislative history. I was out for the holidays, so um, I do want to still get it on a future agenda, but it's our department, we're having trouble with some of our, we're, we're trying to do a lot of things and that's been kind of challenging, there you go. I haven't forgotten, I just don't. Okay. I only have two arms. Okay. I only have two arms. Yeah. <laughs> so. Then we will uh, move on to letter D. An update on trail project. So, 116th Street Trail, there's a public information meeting on February 2nd. Uh, I believe I scheduled it this room Thursday evening. Uh, from four to seven, uh, we got the grant. It must get bid out. I should say, CMAC grant. It must be bid out this spring, so they are spring, so they are full speed ahead, trying to get everything done and trying to get everything going. Uh, related to that, it's St. Martin Tours. Um, these trails will connect to 116th Street, but it's a separate trail. <coughs> Trying to get DNR to separate the two so we can get our 60. We um, trying to decide where to put it around the church property. We had a spot picked out. Church had some people change on the committee. The new committee didn't like the location. Uh, we met with them again. We talked. Long story short, we're we're looking. Found a spot. I think we can go through the woods. Um. Um. You're welcome to come to either February 2nd, and I can describe it to you there, or if you attend St. Martin's at Church, or if you don't, you can come talk to me. Be, uh, meet there between all the masses. <laughs> to me, be, uh, meet there between all the masses. <laughs> uh, talking to, trying to educate people on what we're trying to do. So how we plan to take it through their pathway, Common Council approved a right of entry, wait for the church to sign it so DPW can go Kind of mow a path and we can do work, investigative work, but it looks like it's going to go through the church property and make that happen. So we're looking at put flags up. By what? Put flags everywhere. We had several stakes, and some of the stakes you couldn't even get to them because they were the brush was so thick. So we're going to try to clear a path to Bobcat, not take out any through there, and try to figure out where it's going. And, once we do that, the surveyors will go in and identify where the nice trees are, where the things we want to avoid, what, what things we'd like to hit, that kind of thing. Then from that, we'll actually dig, get a, a trail laid out. I thought there were flags. I saw flags there. That's what I asked. There, there were some, there were flags. I saw flags there. That's what I asked. There, there were some. There were some painted. Uh, well, oh, okay, there's two things. There's there's flags <laughs> that our consultant did. A year ago to, to delineate the wetland. So those flags are where the wetlands are, the borders of the wetland. But there were about, I want to say six, about, I want to say six or seven stakes, pink stakes that were put through the woods that my staff did. Uh, but a group of us went out there and you couldn't get to some of the stakes because it's just so thick. So we need to clear it out a little bit so we can get and actually walk through it and do some investigative work. Talking with the neighbors to the west about Talking with the neighbors to the west about actually taking it on their property. So I think that's going to happen. We're working our way that way. Again, Sunday, the March 5th, I'll be at St. Martin's Church. Um, 
West Forest Home Avenue, West Church Street, that was done this past year. Um, Mr. Bennett, every time I see him, he can't thank me enough for doing that. So I hope that everybody else has enjoyed it. Uh, State Highway 100, that's still in the DOT plans, 10 foot pathway. That's from 60th Street up to St. Martin's. Future, in the future, they are looking. I actually back up. State Trunk Highway 100. They're also doing sidewalks and bike paths from Rawson to College Avenue. That project will start this year. They're going to do the southbound lane. The next year, they're going to do the northbound. Lane. Basically, a two year project from Rawson to uh, College Avenue. Basically, extending what you see in Hills Corner further south. Uh, again, there will be sidewalks and uh, bike lane. Then that we have been talking about options for pathway that goes from St. Martin's. Up. I've been talking about options for pathway that goes from St. Martin's up. To so it'll probably, as of right now, the DOT would like to put the pathway on the west side of the road, maybe north from St. Martin's. I'd like the east side because we have the park there, but but I prefer the west side. Once it goes up, uh, it'll go up to the monastery, right? Where? Yeah, the monastery. They're looking to put a crossing there at the monastery because that would not only get used by the trail users, but would get used by the people going back. The, uh, so that's that's what. <laughs> Uh, Ryan Creek, no change. I'd like to get started on that again this year, but it's just a matter of getting the project going. Um, and Cascade Creek Park, I am waiting on the city of Milwaukee. I see the city engineer, he says he's passed along my request, but the county is making me, or makes us, is making us put the pathway on the city of Milwaukee property. But I gotta get the city of Milwaukee's permission to do that. So, tree farm right there. They want me to use a corn crop permission to do that. So, tree farm right there. They want me to use a corn. I need to walk it with the city. Where well, we are with it. Thank you. I'd like to piggyback on Glenn for just a second because, uh, as some of you may know, the um, the city the city is undertaking a rewrite of our unified development ordinance and part of well broadly that's the zoning code uh, part of what that ordinance covers is the dedication of land um, for specifically trails and parks and how that would occur when like a subdivision is made. Um, that will be on the next task force agenda so we had a discussion about adding trail dedication into the planning process specifically around the context of the Ryan Trail um, when we were reviewing that earlier this week. Um, so I can send out an email when I have a clear idea of when the next meeting is. I don't have it on my calendar at the moment, but um, that's coming up soon, and that's a meeting that we would invite the public to come to and we'll encourage you guys to. If you're so, there'll be an opportunity to comment on things like how there'll be an opportunity to comment on things like how trails and parks work with the private development process. Then we'll move on to letter E. Little League and or adult rec league reservation of sports facilities. Baseball, pickleball, and other groups. Um, so no one from the rec department was available this evening. Um, so I'm hoping to get them to come to your February meeting. Um, I'm not sure if there's additional discussion the commission would like to have, um, but we'll probably have that full request from them for February and for their schedule. And then also, also continue to have the discussion about how we do individual rental reservations. And that so, but I don't have any materials to present. The rec department wasn't available, so. Well, I think we should wait until the rec department. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Glenn. 
That's we're, we're gonna look at this later. I don't know that. We are pending. Yeah, I just had two questions. Sure. One was um, where it has to say not liable if injury occurs, and then you have the certificate of liability with question marks. Do they have to get insurance? Um, some places they do get in Franklin. I'm not sure. Oh. I just it's a thought. Oh, okay. other places, places. And then there's that last paragraph on that page, and I'm sorry, but I don't know what this word means. Um, it's got um, persons or property occurring, like if they um, damage persons or property occurring in connection property occurring in connection with the above noted event and it says proximately caused by the action applicant. So I think that if they took out the payment and someone else your possible but your group damage. Okay. That all um, like that would be something probably attorney would need to look at that, I think. Right, because it was never in there before. Okay. Probably, yeah, I know that that was new. That, right. That's maybe more later. Right. And maybe you don't even want that. I didn't want that. I just, there are just things that are out there. Or refer to that someplace. Mm -hmm. you know, there's no no place. I'll check for that. I think as you get as the city gets more as you get as the city gets more stuff, it, you just have growing plants. Kind of like the ice cream, you learn a lot the first time you put it in, and so the next time you go bigger, you'll you'll go. Oh, yeah, we we know why. Nice to have all this stuff, but if you don't get policies on it, right. you're, get, you're learning as you go along. I've got a question. <clears throat> Since this is ending kind of early, um, I, I've got a question regarding the core. Um, when will that get? <laughs> I, I I know it's a ton of work, and I know no one has time to do it. And I know no one has time to do it. I I, I get that all that, but I, I recently went to it just for some guidance. And there's a lot of information that's way out of date. Um, there's no pickleball even mentioned in it. Mm -hmm. um, there's um, Kayla's playground's not even it, it's mentioned in it like it's coming up, but it's not. And as part of the park, so impression on the agenda. Um, that is correct. It's not on the agenda. I can put it on the agenda for um, the next meeting, but I will just note that um, it was in the staffing. We were instructed to prioritize any of the planning documents over and above the update that I mentioned earlier. So. For those of you who haven't heard, our director of finance, and director of administration. Yeah, and the planning department has not had a plan. Planning department still. <laughs> That's somewhat scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, all at a standstill. Is that finance person? Was he a? Is that finance person? She's been here less than a year. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to put it on the agenda. Um, I do think that would be appropriate to kind of just go through the corp with everyone so that um, 
Did you guys have a good overview of it? I know some of you have looked at the material before, but it never hurts to do it, have a refresher. I um, started looking at it, and I, you probably know which issues would be best. Because it seems like a, a lot of repetition. You're like, I just read that, you know, and if you knew what to highlight. Yep, I can call out the key elements of it. That um, Actually, the map that I just passed out, um, Alderman Hanneman requested that that be shared with the commission because it includes information about um, what trails are specifically indicated as planned. So the work that the city engineers are um. doing is always based on what's in that document um, it, because it's the mechanism that allows us to keep track. So um, I can do a quick walkthrough of the contents of the document, the legislative background, and um, like little requirements, of, and then talk about what's most important. There's some tables and maps that are only need to care about like, <laughs> <laughs> like if, unless you want to really get into it. So um, I'm more than happy to do that and then talk a little bit more about the timeline and um, there are plans and um, there are plans to update it, but as of right now, it's not clear what that's going to look like. But you're welcome to be back at any point. So. Are there, plan, are there plans to short, shorten it from 270 pages to Absolutely. About 10 pages? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be 10, but it will not be too hard. <laughs> so it's cumbersome. And unnecessarily so. I mean, overly detailed in some ways that have actually impeded. So. Yes, sir. If Mike got on reservation, I think. I need to really think how we want to get it for the future. I don't think we can really go through another summer having the bully use to take care of what needs to be in golf fields. I just prepared to really take it off golf fields. I just prepared to really take it off I just don't think that's fair to. Kids that want to go to the park game or go to park. I wish they talked to my own. I'm years. I found St. Martin's Road across from the They had that for literally years. I don't know why they that. It was used all the time. Mm -hmm. I remember. Where? A field? Yeah. Do you know where her is now? It used to be. You know where that church is in my yeah, the little right church across the street from there. There's a field. Yeah. Oh that yeah. Field used to be a little league. That's mentioned in the park. That that field is still going on today. Obviously, it's the park. That that field is still going on today. Obviously, it's the I don't understand why. Was it? I mean, I think it was bringing home. I think it was being used all the time. I don't understand why they put it up. Money in. Like they thought they didn't need it because Franklin started. So. I used to be addressed for the summer uh, <laughs> regarding everything. And Tennis, I guess. Pickleball, baseball, you name it. And you put it at that point where you. I, I don't know what to tell people. Call the clerk's office to start. Receiving reservations from the Little League. You got the, the Monday of the week of. Mm -hmm. The week of. Oh, the week of. Okay. Right. But you're there. Monday morning. Thirty. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't. Already, I just wanted to make sure she wasn't already taking. Absolutely. Backtrack. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have nothing else. Can I just one thing? Real quick, and it has to do with Pickle. Uh, quick, and it has to do with Pickle. Uh, if last time it was mentioned about, because they're going to redo those tennis courts, right? This year. We haven't planned which one yet. Oh, you're I thought. About, you're talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. So. No, I'm talking about the one by the library. So, so we, we've got some money in the budget to do some research. Yeah. 
from checking on how to do that. I don't know if we get to all of them or not. That was kind of the plan, but I'm not talking about the children for all the country. Right. Because I thought at one of these meetings that was the one that they voted on it. It was brought up last time, possibly. The history that eight courts were approved for the ball, then it went six, then it went four. That possibly doing the library ones as permanent pickleball courts and making the ones at Lions two um, back tennis courts, back tennis courts, have tennis courts there because more players. Does that have to go on the agenda here for a vote? Suits? You guys just decide that yourselves? They we'll call the council. But doesn't the parks have to make a recommendation first? No. We did our Did we say we were going to do that? We I mean, service. but to make those pickleball courts. Yes. Oh, I did not we hear. Were strike. We were going to strike. We were going to move all the that turn the oh, back over. Okay, I didn't know there was a decision. Okay, decision. Okay. That was our I just don't recall it. Yeah, I thought it was just brought up. But if you're saying so we have to I think we should get some budget first. Yeah. yeah. How many we can then the we should first find out what the budget when I also think the rec department. Mm -hmm. I think that's skating right on top of the tennis court. That court just for shit, for shit. I, I think <laughs> the research I did, I don't think that damages it. The concern was is people walking around the outside of it, gates and such, that would chip, mm -hmm. chip at whatever. So we just need to make sure that, especially when we fix one up nice, we have something people can walk on. We need to make sure that, especially when we fix one up nice, we have something people can walk on and not scuff the surface so I'm not worried about the <laughs> but uh future won't fix one up we can be very careful. There is no new business to discuss. The uh the next meeting I believe is February thirteenth. If there's nothing else, uh, I guess we'd like to adjourn. Anybody uh, oppose? The ayes have it.